time you get a good idea it's another dot and when you want to share that idea with somebody else you've connected the dots finding a way in to every single child requires creativity we're setting our goals to match the technology technology can do extremely extremely cool things but we have to change the curriculum we have to change schools to be more accepting of creativity and innovation by the way anybody here um, has anyone mem memorized the internet yet um, <laughs> I like asking that question because the old paradigm is that you could memorize everything in the McGraw-Hill 7th grade math textbook, right? But it's changed. The world has changed. And uh, it is going to require that we think differently, right? So some kids, they, they're not having a particularly easy journey in school. And I wrote a story. I'm, I'm a big fan of technology. I've been swimming in it now for 25 years. Um, but uh, I find that still one of the best technologies we have is the story, the dot by me. <laughs> it's kind of cool to say. <clears throat> Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. Well, you're a really great artist. I wish I could draw. I bet you can, said Vashti. No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, sign it. And that's today what, what really Thinkfinity is all about, why I'm excited about it, and technology in general, is that it is an invitation for all of us to be braver and to be more creative. And uh, we thought today that we would, um, we would use our imaginations and imagine the 21st century kid, all right? The, the, the happy, empowered 21st century kid. And uh, we thought we would bring in, um, an investigator to help us with our investigation. I am uh, an actor. Uh, I'm not an educator, uh, but I play a detective. For those of you who do, don't watch the show, I play an FBI detective on the show without a trace. And what our job to, is, is every week someone goes missing. Um, and, and our job is to go out and find this missing person. So with your help, why don't I come out and we'll talk and we'll, I'll ask some questions and let's try along with Peter and Karen, let's try and build a sketch of the 21st century student. First question, how, how do you as educators and teachers, how do you see students playing the part of critical thinkers? And I would say that versatility and ability to look at varying viewpoints. I see 21st century kids as inventors. And I think it's important very much to applaud the idea of students today living in a world of diversity. The students understand the value of cooperative thinking and cooperative teamwork. You probably saw me sketching away here. Um, I, saw, I saw the microphone as that uh, to symbolize questioning and being inquisitive and then also some technology to help record it and of course the global glasses which was an inspiration from you guys. You know we're all we all hear it there's issues with education in our country and we can sit around and complain and lament about things but what I love about Verizon is they don't talk about a problem they are looking for a solution to a problem. I have to hand it to the Verizon Foundation uh, for not only all the wonderful things they do, including Thinkfinity, but also the idea to put together a session that is different than any of the other sessions out there. 